Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I want to talk about knives. Your kitchen cannot run without good knives. Am I right? <laughs> so I just kind of want to go through knives. I get a ton of questions on almost every video about what kind of knives do I use, and the answer is I use an array of different knives. And I'm gonna explain to you what I use, why I use it. No, maybe not the, maybe not all the why, but we're gonna go through my knives. So let's get started. First knives that I'm gonna talk about is my hammer style knives. And I have this whole set with the block. I do use these. I probably use the steak knives more. These are the steak knives. Um, these have a bunch of good choppers. I love the size of this knife as well. It's actually a good balance. It's a good knife. Um, what I like about these is it's, it's made well. I love the weight, um, the balance in my hand for chopping. Um, so I really do love these knives. This, these knives come with its own sharpener, but you need to learn how to sharpen these knives on this. Um, that is one of the downfalls of this knife brand. Also, though this knife isn't the most expensive priced one, um, it is one of the more expensive knife brands. Um, this block with all of these knives, I think we paid $1,800 for, something like that. So um, $1,800 for this knife set, and I have to sharpen them myself. Sorry for all the weird racket you're hearing in the background. Uh, my son is in the crawl space, <laughs> and they're putting in new, um, oh, what do you call them? I don't know, cameras. Security cameras, that's what they're doing. <laughs> Anywho, this set right here, this, these are my Cutco knives. Now, these aren't all my Cutco knives. I absolutely love Cutco. Um, the, Cutco is at the top of my list for favorite brand of knives. I really do love them. Um, Cutco, also, again, the balance isn't quite as good as the hammer stall in your hand, um, but they do work really well. This being one of my very favorite knives, and I love this style. You probably see me use this one a ton because a lot of times when I'm cutting into meat and I want to cut through it quick, I use this. It cuts through meat like butter. Um, this cheese knife is actually my favorite cheese knife. I use this all the time. And then paring knife, the other knives. Um, they're, they're all really good knives. Cut coat is higher end. It is more expensive than the hammer stall. So um, I, I, even though I love cut coat, my problem with it is they want you to mail it in to get them sharpened, right? And they actually need sharpening more than they say they do. Um, also, they do sharpening events. So they tell you, they give you an email or send you a text when they're gonna have a sharpening event, which is cool, but I went to the sharpening event and the whole thing was them making me wait while they pitch me a spiel to purchase more. So. Um, that's fine. I realize, you know, sales are sales. That's how people make money. That's how I make money. I'm a salesman. Um, but the sharpening took a really long time and I take that big chunk out of my day to go stand at the mall, um, while they sharpen my knives. So totally not cool. So taking them to get them sharpened, mailing them in to get them sharpened. I don't like that about cut golf. That's the one that's the biggest downside from cost that I don't like about Cutco. Cutco knives are pretty darn expensive. I think this knife alone is $50. Um, and then they just kind of, they go up from there. You can get sets, they're, they're very pricey. Um, I'm not gonna talk bad about Cutco. I absolutely love my Cutco knives. I, I love them. I just don't like that I have to get them sharpened there. And I don't like that, yes, they are dull between sharpening. And if they're missing a blade somewhere, where's the one? I had one that was missing a blade somewhere. Maybe it's not sitting here. I don't know. This isn't all of them. But one of them is missing a little blade somewhere. They wanted me to purchase a whole new knife. I don't like that about Cutco knives, but I still use them. I love them. I probably, from here on out, will not purchase any more Cutco knives. That'll probably be it. Also, for the hammer saw, that is it. I won't purchase any more. This knife you see me use probably the most right now, 
only because it's newer. I've had this one for about a year and it's smaller. I like it. it. Again, heavier, good balance in my hand. Not quite as good balance as the hammer stall, but, but pretty good. Um, this is actually the Pamper Chef knife. And this one is more affordable. Um, it is made well. Pampered Chef is a good company. And I'll tell you what, I have a lot of Pampered Chef things and a lot of people ask me where I get stuff. And if I knew somebody who sold Pampered Chef, I would give them their link. But I haven't had any. I've tried before to get um, Pampered Chef people to want to take internet business and I don't know why a lot of them don't. <laughs> but, anywho, there you go. So, good knife. Not that expensive either, so. Then there is this set of knives. This set of knives is what I want to talk to you about today because if you are in the Midwest, you probably already recognize these knives. Um, pretty big company in the Midwest. I'm talking about Rada knives. Rada knives are made right here in the United States. They're also made with materials found in the United States. And what I like about these knives is they are sharp, they are good quality, and they're affordable. That's my main reason. Affordability is important. <laughs> you can't just spend a ton of money on knives. You know, good knives, not everybody can afford that. I, I'll tell you what, those, a good cut coat can be such a big chunk of change. And if you wanted a whole set of cut coat, that's thousands and thousands of dollars. So, Rada knives are way more affordable. I, and I am absolutely in love with them. I have been using Rada knives for about six years now, and I just wanna show you, um, and people have been using them for longer than six years. I just learned about them six years ago. I've had this knife for six years. This is my brand new knife. I just ordered more knives. So, you can hardly, I mean, you can tell the difference. I think this has gotten put in the dishwasher. I try just to hand wash them. But the knives are equally as sharp and when I cut some stuff up you're going to see that. Um, but I absolutely love the Rada knives and I've had I've had several of their products and I decided about a year and a half ago that we were going to start selling Rada uh, and offering Rada and I really haven't said anything about it. The link has been in my description box and anybody who asked me about knives and if I'm using the Rada, I'll let them know that the, um, that the link is in there. But I've decided, you know, Rada is a lot more affordable and if you don't know about it, you might want a, you might want a good knife that you can actually afford. <laughs> and if you ever have to replace these knives, you're not going to be out a ton of money. They're way more affordable. Also, with Rada, they don't have just knives. Um, they have peelers, and they have two kinds of peelers. One is a bigger one. I like the bigger one because my hands are, I have big hands. So I like the bigger peeler. But you can, you can definitely get the smaller peeler, and I can't remember the name, the big peeler, or the difference. These spreaders, I like the Pampered Chef ones. I also love the Rada ones. The Rada ones are a lot more affordable. So I'm probably gonna put in another order for about eight of these. Um, parties, dips, holidays, you know, I use them. I use them for everything. Cheese spread, cheese balls, jams, jellies, you name it. <clears throat> they even carry spatulas. There's a couple different ones. Um, this one's kind of like the medium one. And then this one's the tiny one. Perfect for brownies. I don't, this is the smallest spatula I have and it is so perfect for scooping brownies out of a, out of a pan. They also have mixers. You can use this for eggs, drinks. I tend to use this more for whisking eggs. So there's that stuff. And then the Rata sharpener. This is it. This is the Rata sharpener. Looks pretty uncomplicated. And I was watching some videos on Rada sharpeners and there was a couple videos of guys that added this into their sharpening videos and they had a whole bunch of them. And the higher end sharpener that was like, I don't know, $1,300 um, was a good one, but this came in only second to that $1,300 sharpener. So he couldn't believe it himself that this was such a good sharpener. And for a few bucks, it's excellent. And from now on, I will only sharpen my Cutco knives on this. Don't tell Cutco because they won't be warrantied then, which is fine because I don't have to sit at the mall and wait for them to sharpen my gosh darn knives. <laughs> Even if you don't have Rata knives, highly recommend the Rata sharpener. 
All right, we're gonna cut some stuff up. Okay, peelers. We're gonna start with the big peeler. These things are so sharp. You can't even, barely any effort here. So there's my carrot. Barely any effort out of the peeler. You can use this to make ribbon um, carrot salad. It's beautiful, so you just keep peeling them in ribbons. Right? I love to make ribbon carrot salad. Then you can make a vinaigrette to toss it in. Cut up some fresh herbs. Blam! A cute ribbon carrot salad. Okay, here's the small peeler. In case you're wondering, not very much effort goes into this, let me tell you. And I'm terrible. I'm peeling backward. This is how you're supposed to peel also. Uh, I'm terrible. I'm usually peeling this way. Let me tell you right now. So peeling that way feels weird to me. <laughs> but I like this because um, what I have used in the past is my Pampered Chef peeler. I love this Pampered Chef peeler. But look, do you see these blades? Do you know how many, these are sharp and they are pokey. You know how many times I've gotten this caught in my finger? Ow, I just caught my nail. <laughs> a ton and it catches so it is a little bit harder to peel with this pampered chef one and i've cut myself a gazillion times with it this one way easier <laughs> and i've never cut myself and if you're doing it this way i haven't even rammed my finger into the blade because the blades are facing the middle and my finger hits the edge so um way safer i'll tell you that so there you go there you have it on peelers. Tomato. I want to show you the tomato <coughs> knife because it is my favorite one. He's in the background laughing because he knows it's my favorite. This is the tomato knife. This is the new one. And I just, I just got this. So here's the new tomato knife. It just, it saws right through. Here's my, no effort. Here's my used one. Saws right through. So these tomato knives, oh my gosh, you don't even need pressure at all. You just, it, they just go through. And I like it because guess what? I'm not squishing my tomato at all. Greatest thing ever, I have a few of these. So new one, old one, old one works just as well as the new one. So there you go. Bam. Tomato knives. Half a baguette. Bread knife. Without even crushing my bread. Oh, this one's so good it kind of went into my cutting board. Love it. So there you go. Bread knife. And actually, I think this is the best bread knife I have. I have the hammer style bread knife, and I do not like it as much as I like this one. Also, these happen to be really lightweight. And now, since I'm not going to spend all day cutting up everything with each knife, <laughs> I'm going to show you a quick recipe. By the way, this you can do ribbon cucumber salad with this too, which is equally as gorgeous. careful because these are so lightweight you don't want to cut yourself and uh, I already did today and I cut myself right across here you can't even see it but I was washing the knife and I cut that first layer of skin just so it didn't even bleed crazy anyway I am going to get the seeds out of here so I use a spoon ok 
Okay, got all my seeds out. Make sure they're all gone. I do not do well with seeds. Okay, so I am making this small salad. It's just like a small side dish. And it's just my husband and I for dinner tonight, so I don't need a bunch. But you could use as many um, cucumbers as you need to to feed your family. This, using this big knife is probably like super overkill for this, but let's try, let's try the smaller one. These are just utility knives. And you can use whatever size utility knife. I need to get, what I don't have is the bigger chopping knives. So I'll get those next. And you'll see me using these because I'll use them more on my videos since, since we do sell them, I probably should promote them a little bit more, but I'm not a great salesman, so. Okay, I have my cucumber in chunks. One cucumber into the bowl. Okay, onion. I am going to save my peels and I'm gonna use about this much of my onion. Oh. Set that one aside. <clears throat> Wash these and stick them in your freezer. You want to make some garbage broth. Okay, be careful while doing this part. There, use a smaller knife. Otherwise, I'm just tempting fate on more stitches. I can't tell you the amount of stitches I've had in my life. A ton. <laughs> there for a while, I felt like Tim the Toolman Taylor and I was always in the ER and they probably should have put my name on the door. I am very accident prone. One of those things you probably didn't know about me. Okay. I'm going to put those in there. And that's all that's going into this little side salad. I'll tell you something about the salad. When I was in my early 20s, briefly, I worked for um, a company. It was called Pharmacy and Upjohn. It was in Portage, Michigan. I lived in Kalamazoo. That's where I'm from, in Michigan. And I, they are now Pfizer, that company. Um, but I worked... I worked there in the actual factory part in the office. And there was a one of the workers, his wife was a caterer and every Friday she would cater lunch and she'd give you the menu and she had like three different things on that menu. And this was the side salad that she always served with everything and I, I absolutely loved it. And she was from Trinidad. So, oh my gosh, her food was so good. And I looked forward to the salad every Friday. I'm putting in an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. I will taste it in just a sec. Straight up apple cider vinegar. About a quarter cup water. Probably about a quarter cup. I'm gonna throw in some Himalayan pink salt, about a quarter teaspoon. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let it sit in here in, in this brine. And then you can, when you go to serve this, you can drain some of this brine off of it. Stick this in the fridge for a couple hours. And sometimes it's just the simplest ingredients are the best. Okay, I have some chicken now. This is their boning knife. And I don't know what else they call it, but it cuts through like butter. So. Pretty much all these knives cut through all your stuff like butter. Let me tell you. Um, I am just doing some plain old grilled chicken tonight. I was thinking about stuffing it with something, but. 
ultimately, I think I'm just going to um, take that little piece off right there. Oops, I don't have a hold of it. Um, I've just decided to put some, some rub on it and go ahead and grill them, eat them plain. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna take this off. So I figure I'd just bring you along with prepping my chicken. I take all this stuff off. A lot of you probably don't, probably not this picky, but I, I don't like that corner part. Same on this, and it always seems to have a little piece of bone. Okay. over here. I am going to carefully put my hand on this way. Um, make sure you be very careful and put this knife across this way. Make sure you're not going this way. I've done that before. Like I said, I'm accident prone. I give you these experiences that I've already done so that you don't have to do them. <laughs> and there you go. Do the same thing with this guy. This is a huge guy. Maybe I'll do this one twice. This one's huge. Okay, so there is one slice. I'm gonna slice another one. Also, it helps when your chicken is partially frozen, so keep that in mind. And keep an eye on your hand there with the knife. Okay. And there it is. I am gonna go wash my hands. Here's my chickens, here's my rub. I'll tell you what, this rub is pretty darn good. If you wanna know how to make it, I am going to find the video and link it in the description box below because this came from my friend Linda over at Linda's Pantry. Mmm, smells veggie in here. Veggie and I'm just cutting up the chicken. And I'm cucumbers. Rub. Yeah, I just did a cucumber vinegar? salad. Yeah. Oh, my fave. You know yeah. it's my fave. Well, I did a salad with it. Waste not, what not. Ouch. Probably need a little bit more. I want these guys covered. We're just going to go ahead and grill these too, by the way. So I've, these will, this will be really good with my cucumber salad have this in the freezer so I gotta break it up a little bit and it's got some thrive in it she's put some freeze-dried um, pineapples in here oh man this is delicious so those guys are covered cover this guys okay And this one's kind of a spicy one, but you can always control your spice. So if I make anything that you think is spicy or or my friend Linda, anybody else, any of the other YouTubers you like, make anything with spice in it, you know you can control the spice. You can still make that dish without the heat. Anything can be made without the heat. <clears throat> Red bell pepper in there. Oh, yum. You can see all the little bits and pieces. Okay. Go wash my hands. Last thing I'm going to show you is a watermelon. I have never cut a watermelon with these knives before, and uh, I don't have a knife, a rate of knife big enough to cut through this watermelon other than this bread knife. So let's check it out. Let's see how it goes through. Wow, I'm surprised it's doing it. This is a bread knife and a watermelon. 
Whoa. Very nice, babe. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, read a bread knife right through the watermelon. Awesome. Oh man, that smells good. Oh, I love summer. You can't see me. I miss summer. <laughs> gonna be hot here soon okay Woo, I got my knife at an awkward angle yeah I'm probably making you all nervous with my crazy knife skills Made me nervous. my crazy knife skills right now I'm the one that's got called the, the paramedic right yep he's been to the ER with me he makes things worse Talk about panic. <laughs> Whoa. Yep, I'm cutting this all wonky. You can cut yours, you know, normal. Okay, so this, that's how the bread knife is going through it. Let's try this bigger knife, because I bet it'll cut through a little easier than a bread knife. So let's cut through the rind with a bread knife. Or a not bread knife. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. So, cutting right through the core with this thing. That's pretty smooth. Watch this. Okay. Utility knife. Nice. Yeah, I don't have the names in front of me, and I used Raider knives a lot, but I couldn't tell you the names. <laughs> but I do know this is one of the utility knives, and I believe this is the biggest utility knife that they have. So, um, One thing I didn't go over with you is pairing knives. They have four different sizes of pairing knives. Ba -ba there they are, four different sizes. And my favorite, of course, is the Granny pairing knife because you are literally picking up your food and pairing it this way. Just, of course, be careful because this is the one that your, uh, the blade is toward you. So as you can see, I've just about taken the rind off with that little granny knife, granny pairing knife. And uh, in the kitchen, you know, we love our pairing knives. So there you go. I have watermelon leaking down my arm, but I better eat this. Mm -mm -mm. Now that I've started, I have to cut the rest of this watermelon up and get it into a bag. The last one I want to show you is how to prepare a shark. Just kidding. I found it over here on the counter. You know, the kids were here. Anyway, so I thought I'd throw it in. <laughs> but if you want shark someday, I'm just saying. I've never even eaten shark. Have you eaten shark? I never really wanted it. And at one point, I lived in Fort Myers, Florida for a little bit, but you know, I never ate it. That is the discussion on all the knives I personally use. There are many different knife brands out there. I'm sure there's lots of brands better than the ones that I have. But for the price and the quality of Rada, you can't beat it. So if you're interested in it, the link is in the description box below. If you have any questions about it, you can certainly contact me. Again, I have been using them for a while. Um, also, oh, I want to show you one more thing. Uh, the Rata Cutters. I don't know if you have seen these. I cut my nail. <laughs> the Rata Cutters. I don't know if you've seen these before, but I love these also. And you may have seen me use this because when I'm making jams and jellies, this is what I use to cut the fruit up with. After I put it in the bowl, I will simply just chop it with the strawberries um, with this before I dump it in the pan. And that's how I cut up all my berries and fruits for jams. Works great with potatoes too. Like when you are doing um, pasties or soups, my grandma used to put all the pasty stuff and she'd chunk the potatoes kind of big, put them in a big bowl with the ground beef and the onion, and then she would take this thing and ground it down the rest of the way. Anyway, love this thing. They have everything from cutting utensils, serving utensils, to cookbooks, and they have some seasoning packets, some um, cheese ball starters, pie 
starters. So you, I don't even, I didn't, I've never used the pie ones. Maybe I'll order some and check them out, but they're like the frozen or cold pie. So it's like a, a little mix that you mix in with, I'm guessing whipped cream and some other stuff. I'm not sure yet. When I have more information on that, I will let you know. They also carry an ice cream scoop. Um, this one I'm going to leave in the package. We ordered some extra stuff as giveaways. So this is their steak knife set. And I actually don't have the steak knives, so I can't tell you about them. Um, but they look really nice and I bet they're really sharp. <laughs> so I have this steak knife set. I am going to be giving this away in another video. And I also have a gift set that is for serving and it has the ice cream scoop, the pizza cutter, pie scoop, and the spatula. So in another video, I'm going to be giving this away. I'm also gonna be giving away a couple sharpeners. So if you are interested in Rada, again, totally up to you. The link is in the description box below. Otherwise, stay tuned and in the next couple videos, I will announce giveaway information for this stuff. I also want to mention as a disclaimer that Rada is not sponsoring this video. I actually am talking about it because I love it and because I sell it. Also, I want to let you know that um, when we're on YouTube and we're making these videos, we pay for all of our own food. We pay for all of our own things that we use. You know, sometimes they'll give things, you know, a company will want to push something so they'll give, they'll give a video creator something free to show on the channel for reviews or whatever. Um, that happens, but also the other way we make money is through sales. So that is why we do make videos like this. And my main reason for making this video was actually because I get a lot of questions on the knives and I thought I would just do a whole thing about it and then talk about the Rada. And then I decided that I should order more Rada and then I'm gonna use them for giveaways because I love to do the quarterly apron giveaway. But I, I love to give stuff away to you guys. <laughs> so I thought this would be another thing that you'd be interested in. Since if you're watching this, you're probably liking to cook or can or bake. And if you're not interested, that is perfectly fine. I actually showed you a recipe in here and you learned about the Cutco knives and you learned about the hammer style knives. And I will actually try to find those and put links in for you. I know Cutco is funny about sales. You actually have to go through a private salesperson. Um, hammer stall. I think you can order them on the website, but I will link that web website as well. And I'll go ahead and link the Cutco website. Um, as those are the three main knives that I use and then our Rata site. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.